Satori, you brazen face. <clears throat> Niwa didn't run from justice. You killed him. Hey, buddy. Shall we see how he's doing? Hey, you all right? <laughs> That's a scary expression. Are you worried about me? If we didn't have such a history, I'd almost think that qualifies me to be your friend. Oh, tells me you're not my friend, not even a long shot. It won't. I'll keep my end of the deal. Hmm. Hey, are you investigating the stuff we want to know about? That's why we're here. But unfortunately, there's no information about the Descenders in Ermansoul. Even if you can't find anything, that seems to confirm it. Ermansoul does not keep records on the Descenders. Anyone who comes from beyond this world is not counted as part of Tevat. Oh, does that mean we have to leave empty-handed? Can we ask or search out if we can find... I mean, this can be a great opportunity to see if Alice is part of Orman. So, like, we try to search Alice and nothing comes out. But, Kree actually came out. So, you know, pinpoint... You know, like, Kree is part of this world, but her mother not. Really? Are we gonna really go empty-handed? Hey, however, you do all these quests to redeem this character and you're not gonna try to give us a little more about the story? Don't thank me just yet. Hmm, you look really upset. <laughs> well, since Ermin's soul was a dead end, I guess I can share some other info that might interest you. Huh? About what? The reason why there are records about your sister and Ermin's soul. It might have something to do with Conria. Apparently, Conria was her first destination when she arrived in this world. Plus, she only came to this world because the heavens responded to the summoning. The heavens responded? Huh? The jester told me this himself. You can take his word on this. He was a royal mage in Conria. And lived with your sister for a time. So the Jessa and our siblings know each other? I don't know the details. It's up to you whether you want to believe me. All I can say is, I wouldn't lie to you about this. Did you get all that, Lesser Lord Kusanali? Yes. Astonishing news. Does this info count towards my mission? It wasn't for Merman's soul, but was it valuable? Very valuable. Good. In that case, I'll take some time for myself now. Huh? What have you done? Lesser Lord Kusanali was right. My power's all but completely spent. Even if I use all of the divine power left in me, I can't sustain this shield for very long. I shared a secret with you. And now you owe me. So in return, I'd like you to answer a question for me. Give me your hand. Oh, come on. Really, Hoyobus? Really, Hoyobus? You know that people are gonna do it this thing. You know very well. Can you hear my voice inside your head? No, I can't do anything like that anymore. At most, all I can do is exchange a few words with you. So tell me, in this world, is it possible to change the past? Uh, don't know, please. I really don't want time travel to be a part of this stuff. 
or was to tell him about Ruka Devata. Oh, that's gonna be like the worst thing ever. Done. Huh? What the? What happened? Paimon only saw you hold hands for a second. Nothing. I was just thanking him for helping me. So long. I suggest you get yourselves out of here quickly. Fast reaction time, but I don't think we'll be seeing each other again. Where he's going? From this day forth, the names Balladeer and Kabuki Mono will cease to exist. Those who died in Tatarasuna because of me deserve another chance at life. Hey, Balladeer! Don't do anything stupid! You know, I never did like insects. Hordes of the puny things swarming together can be a real nuisance. And I enjoy nothing more than to stamp them out like the pests they are. Again, why do you like him, guys? With a line like this, I mean... Put aside the for three being the behind his, you know, creation, but... Really? But if a colony of harmless ants isn't threatening anyone, I guess they deserve to be left alone. Luckily, everything can be set right. It's time to solve this once and for all. Balladeer! Balladeer! Uh-oh, he disappeared! Come on, we gotta find him somehow! How? And how is he gonna try to plan to time travel? Because we don't deem time travel like the normal way to say. It was kind of calm. now i was suddenly cut off by some kind of power it was the balladeer's fault he he shut you out i didn't think he'd be capable of something like that with so little power left did he keep some of his power hidden when he was defeated or did he achieve something beyond his abilities, and it took everything he had? Where the heck did he go? Oh, it's all our fault. We were supposed to keep an eye on him. Sorry, Nahida. Don't be. It's not your fault. Please, let me handle this from here, even though I'm not sure I can solve it. We're running out of time. Follow my lead and get out of Ermansoul as soon as possible. We're out! And we're at... Uh... An inn or something? This is an emergency. I'll have to ask you to stay here for now. Everything's arranged, and nobody will disturb you. I'm sorry, but this isn't something I need your help with. Leave this one to me. An emergency? How bad is it? Nahida, will you be okay? Don't worry. If my assessment is correct, though there may be some minor disturbances, it won't lead to a disaster. Please rest and recover your strength here until I say it's safe. Her voice has gone. Paimon can't shake the feeling that something really big has happened. What do you think the Balladeer meant? And why did he suddenly grab onto you before?
He wants to change the past? But surely that's impossible! history all that stuff happened already in real life it's like um imagine paimon drank all the water in this inn even if no one was there to see it paimon would sure as heck remember drinking it hmm so why does Paimon still have a bad feeling about this? Paimon can't help but feel scared about what he might do. Ooh, Paimon's so confused. Huh? succeed, right? Otherwise, won't everyone who's connected to him be affected too? Actually, surprised you actually mentioned these three. Actually, do you actually meet a yacht Ayato in his quest, in the Argon quest, not the character quest? I'm actually curious now. There's nothing we can do about it at this point. Hey, have you got any ideas on what we should do next? Seems like now there's nothing left for us to do but to go to sleep. But Paimon's still so worried. Paimon won't be able to sleep a wink tonight. So, how about, uh, we list all our favorite foods to take our mind off things? Heck, if that doesn't work, Paimon's probably gonna collapse of anxiety here. All right, Paimon will start. First dish. Hmm... Munstack grilled fish! Oh, and chicken mushroom skewers! Tea break pancakes, cream stew, sautéed matsutake, and drayun chili chicken, almond tofu, satisfying salad! Oh, oh, also, Adeptus Temptation, Golden Shrimp Balls, Triple Layered Consomme, Lotus Seed and Bird Egg Soup, and... and... What happened? Did we fall asleep? Um... Um... Hmm? Uh, hmm... Uh... What do we... What was Paimon supposed to be doing just now? Paimon was, um, talking? Huh. Paimon certainly can't remember what she was talking about. What was it again? Please tell me this is not gonna be the same thing with repeating the same day over and over. Hmm? The balladeer? 
Is that a food too? Huh. Weird name though. He actually did? How? How he did? What's wrong? Your eyes are like saucers. Was it something Paimon said? So, the Balladeer. Is that someone's name? Cause it sounds like a nickname or something. Hmm? Really to Inazuma. Huh? Fine by Paimon, but is everything okay? You're acting like this is an emergency. Nahida, we're here! Traveler, Paimon, how have you been? Ugh, where to start? Paimon hasn't had a moment's rest this whole time. That night, we ended up chatting and chatting until suddenly, the sun was up. And then, he decided he wanted to go to Inazuma. The Balladeer? Hmm... This sounds like some kind of code name. Somehow the you know the Alcan that has to take care of the armors or what is called. Somehow he gets affected like the rest of the one. You look troubled. Is there something you need to tell me? Traveler? Hey, what's wrong? You look so upset. Why the story? So, uh, this puppet known as the Balladeer erased himself from Ermin's soul, hoping that he could change the past. But how was he even able to do that? As the Traveler said, he very nearly became Sumeru's deity. Admittedly, I remember it a little differently. I don't recall finding anyone inside the machine after we defeated it. 
Nevertheless, it does make sense. If someone were to successfully erase themselves from Ermin Soul, the world would change to reflect the new reality. So, you believe this person really existed, and we just don't remember him because... Well, because he literally changed the world? Yes. Theoretically speaking, it is possible to do this. But I'm struggling to imagine the kind of person who would dare go through with it. The Traveler comes from a world beyond to that. That's why there's no information about him in Ermin Soul, and it also explains why any changes to Ermin Soul wouldn't affect him. So if there's anyone in the world capable of retaining memories from a past that has been rewritten, it's you. It's quite incredible when you think about it. Paimon's having a hard time understanding this balladeer guy's motivations. Why did he do it? I can only make inferences based on the information we've been given. As for what kind of person he was, only you remember that. Yeah, we erase uh, anything about the Baladi only to him to be playable. Man, I'm running really out of fun. This can be my like the worst chapter in all the chapters. Something else worrying you? Something that you can't share? It couldn't change the fate of the ones who had died, right? Once the balladeer realized he hadn't been betrayed after all, it must have completely changed his view of the people of Tatarasuna. Now he saw them as friends again. He couldn't keep hating humans after that. And if he thought there was a chance he could save his old friends, it would be hard not to try. The story makes sense. Every part of it. The balladeer tried to achieve godhood with the doctor's help. He was unsuccessful, but retained the power to connect with Ermensoul. That power then enabled him to change what was recorded in Ermin Soul and erase himself, even though he didn't have much strength left. Yeah, it does make sense, but it still ended in tragedy for his friends. It just feels so hopeless. He gave everything to do this, but it seems like he got nothing in return. Please wait a moment. I want to check something. Hmm. Found it. This should be the one. It turns out that... I have a strange way of confirming everything he has told us. 